Welcome back to the channel. Smash the like on the video. This is your new roundup for Leicester City for today. Philip Coutinho apparently has been linked to Leicester City according to reports from OneFootball and the Leicester Mercury. Their sources are uh, from a, a, a report from Mundo Deportivo. The 29-year-old has failed to live up to expectations since joining Barcelona for £105 million from Liverpool in 2018. Only scoring 15 goals in the, in 64 games, I believe it was, in, for the Spanish side in the top flight. Uh, the Brazilian has not played for Barcelona in 2021. Crikey, we're halfway through the year already and he's still not played for them. After suffering a serious knee injury, uh, which ended up requiring two surgeries uh, during December, just before the year turned over. Uh, Mundo Deportivo, the report says that Barcelona are keen to offload Coutinho from their inflated wage bill and have linked Leicester with a £20 million move for the former Inter Milan and Bayern Loney. Current Foxes boss Brennan Rogers worked with Coutinho at Liverpool, as we know. When they went so close to winning the Premier League, they were so close that season. 2014, I think it was, where Gerrard slips and they lose it. They were, oh, they were close to winning it. Leicester are mentioned as one of the few clubs interested in signing Coutinho, along with Arsenal as well as a few others. Um, Barcelona hoping that competition will help them recoup as much of a fee as possible to obviously get some money back from what they paid during 2018, January 2018. Crikey, that's flew by since that move, hasn't it? Let's be honest. Um, Brendan Rodgers tried to sign Coutinho uh, when the player was just 14 years old and got him at 20 and is now being linked at, with him again at 29 uh, obviously, he's a big fan of Coutinho. Uh, Roger, Rogers was uh, a youth coach at Chelsea when he first went for the playmaker, but he missed out to Inter Milan, where he was lured for. Uh, I think he lured him actually from there to Liverpool. I think he did when Bro Brendan Rogers moved to Liverpool. I think he did. Let's have a quick look at the. Yeah, he did. So, so Rogers lured him away from Inter Milan to Liverpool, um, and it was in January of 2013. Rogers' first season in charge at Anfield. £8.5 million pounds proved to be a bargain. Coutinho would help Liverpool almost grab the title. Uh, and obviously, we know that Steven Gerrard slips over. And found a world-class player and form over the next couple of years and eventually a commanding £142 million fee for Barcelona that allowed Jurgen Klopp to build a side that eventually became champions. The money gained from Coutinho has enabled them to buy Van Dijk, Alisson and Fabinho. Three players who have transferred, they have transformed the team completely um, at the time. Although, obviously, this season they missed out on Van Dyke because of injury. Um, Coutinho has not quite taken off uh, in the same fashion, obviously, at Barca. He's had a prob probably a couple of problems with his knee, let's be honest with you. But he has managed to still pick up two La Liga winners' medals and a Copa del Rey. Uh, he was shipped out on loan to Bayern Munich, where he won the Champions League as well. And he won the Bundesliga too, uh, but he has missed, obviously, this campaign with a serious knee injury. Now he is 29, uh, and he, again, like I said, this, this is a report from Mundo Deportivo. Uh, they claim that 29-year-old Mr. Coutinho is linked to Leicester City for £20 million. And uh, that's really all that covers it. Um... One of the teams that is very aware of Coutinho's future is Leicester City due to the fact that Brendan Rodgers is managing them and and Coutinho has played underneath him before. Uh, it remains to be seen if Leicester present a transfer offer for Coutinho. There is talk of about €20 million Euros, or if otherwise they ask for a loan deal as happened with Bayern Munich two seasons ago. Guys, I'm not sure if I take him or not. He's a winner. Brendan Rodgers did say before he wants winners. We've got Europa League again coming up. Um, it would probably be a squad player. I don't know with his knee issues and his fitness issues. I don't know if he would make this side. However, as a starting eleven, however, he's a great, great asset to the club for terms of a name. He's a massive name for the club, which only proves that Leicester are 
establishing themselves more as an elite side in the Premier League than just the over 14, so to speak. Um, what your, what's your take on Coutinho? Do you think, is he finished at 29 years old? Do you think he's done, really? Is this a silly move? Or is £20 million roughly about right for a player like him? Because he still does win things, regardless if Barcelona aren't keen on him. However, he has not played any games for Barca this year, 2021. Um, Brennan Rodgers, I believe, had this to say regarding this. I think... You've watched my teams over a period of time. You will see I like quick, dynamic, flexibility, rotation, movement, speed and power. That's the makeup of my teams. When I was looking at the team in the first six months there were certain ingredients that were missing. Coutinho was one I knew from Chelsea days. We tried to get him on Chelsea when he was 14, but he had already committed to Inter Milan. So we talked about him in the summer and he kept tabs on him. Then all of a sudden he became available at 19. We thought, wow, right, let's get the boy in. Most people would have probably looked at him and thought he's not for the Premier League. But what a talent. He intimidates people when he uh, has the ball with his quality. There was a nice line too that would be nice if it came true. Roger said that this boy is top and if he comes back to this Premier League, he will show that he is world class. Let's just read that last line again. Rogers said that the boy is top and if he comes back to the league, if he comes back to the league, he will show that he's world class, that he will show. That is what I think there's truth to this rumours. I think there's truth to this rumours, boys. I really do. Um, you know, we've been linked to him before. Uh, I think it was the last uh, transfer window. But um, but I think, I think this is a, a solid little rumour, this. I think there's more to it than meets the eye. Uh, what we'll do is we'll cover it even more as the time goes on. Obviously, Coutinho, uh, 29 years old, um, not playing this this year alone is a slight worrying. Um, I suppose he's probably gone past his peak, right? Uh, some players peak a little earlier, um, but I don't think he's obviously been helped with the injuries. That Those knee injuries are, are a problem. We know about knee injuries. Look at Ricardo Pereira. He's still only just coming back properly to, to his, his best. Um, near the end of the season and uh, we lost James Justin don't forget too to an ACL tear as well so we know about knee injuries and knee injuries can affect players and change players you only have to look at past history of players like Michael Owen for example um, or one of our own Matt Piper who had to retire at a very very young career very young age in his career he had to retire so all in all I'm going to go with this rumour and I think I would take him for £20 million. I think I'd take him in. Um, it's a lot of money for a player that might not play some games though. That's the only thing you got to worry about. So if you don't get games out of him, £20 million to then try and ship him on again is going to be quite an ask. Um, you're going to lose money on this. This isn't a, this isn't a deal that Leicester will bring in um, like for Farnar or Harry Maguire or Chilwell. Chilwell was free because he was one of our own. But he, he's not one of those that you're going to bring in on the cheap and you know Mares Kante and sell for a lot of money Danny Drinkwater um this isn't one of them this is you're paying a big chunk of money for a player that you're potentially going to lose that money for yes you might sell some t-shirts you might sell a ton of shirts um around the world who, who knows um uh, but in terms of that money revenue that's spent on that player you're not going to reap that, that money back unless he proves that he's still got it and he does turn it around and smashes it in the Prem. Otherwise, you're going to lose that £20 million. Can Leicester afford to lose £20 million? It's a gamble, isn't it? They make money on a lot of players. They don't like losing money on players. I still think there's some rumours to this. Please let me know what your thoughts are in the chat. I'm going to go with a solid rumour on this one. I think it's a, a, it's a decent, decent one. Let me know what you think uh, in the chat about Coutinho. Where is he going to go? If he doesn't go Leicester, where would he go? And would you take him for £20 million? Let me know. Follow me at Lee underscore Chappie on all social media platforms. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll sh I shall see you, what, for, I think we're on Thursday night for the uh, for the football for Belgium versus Denmark for the watch long. Uh, we'll see you on the Friday night for the England-Scotland game. Uh, and then going on, we'll do some more Euro stuff as well. So stay tuned for more coming up on the channel. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys. Isn't it the queen?